The Simpsons Hit and Run is a game that has earned a special place in the hearts of gamers and the fans of The Simpsons. Released in 2003 for platforms like PlayStation 2, Xbox and GameCube, this open-world action-adventure game draws heavily from popular titles like Grand Theft Auto, while infusing the unique charm and humor of The Simpsons. Here's a deep dive into what makes this game so memorable, its impact on gamers and how it holds up in comparison to modern day titles. Simpsons Hit and Run is set in a beloved town of Springfield, where players can explore a highly detailed, cartoonish world divided into different levels, each featuring one of the main family members, Homer, Bart, Lisa, Marge or even Apu. The game's primary draw was its open world sandbox structure which was groundbreaking for a license titled at that time, allowing players to roam freely, explore Springfield's iconic landmarks and interact with NPCs. The mechanics, though simpler than many of today's open-world games, were highly enjoyable and easy to pick up. Missions primarily revolve around vehicle-based tasks like racing, collecting items or chasing down characters. Driving mechanics, while far from realistic, add to the game's fun with their exaggerated physics providing a chaotic experience that's fully in line with The Simpsons. Unlike GTA, it doesn't focus on violence, but rather uses a more lighthearted approach with over-the-top and witty slapstick humor that stays true to the TV series. For its time, the graphics were vibrant, colorful and true to The Simpsons art style. The blocky cartoonish models perfectly captured the feel of the show, with Springfield landmarks from the Quickie Mart to most tavern feeling instantly recognizable and nostalgic. Although dated by today's standards, the art design holds a lot of charm. The game's graphics were not aimed for realism, but rather for a faithful representation of the animated world that the fans have come to love. What makes Hit and Run especially nostalgic is how well it integrates The Simpsons' humor and wit into its dialogues and storyline. Each character is brought to life with voice acting from the original cast, enchanting the game's authenticity. Every mission is filled with easter eggs, references and iconic quotes from the show, giving the fans of The Simpsons a rewarding experience as they uncover nods to episodes, characters and moments from the series. Much of the game's lasting appeal comes from the nostalgic factor, as I'm pretty sure all of you played it in 2000s and pretty much no one plays it today. For fans who grew up watching The Simpsons, Hit and Run felt like a love letter to the show. It was one of the few titles that truly captured the essence of The Simpsons, making it feel like you were actively a part of Springfield's universe. For many, playing Hit and Run is more than just a gaming experience. It's a trip down memory lane, revisiting Springfield, hearing familiar voices and laughing at the in-game jokes. It takes the players back to a simpler time when they could immerse themselves in a virtual Springfield and live out adventures as their favorite characters. This game has managed to carve out a space in pop culture as a beloved cult classic. In terms of mechanics and graphics, Hit and Run may not stack up to modern-day open-world games like Grand Theft Auto, Cyberpunk or Legend of Zelda, but then again, it doesn't have to. The Simpsons Hit and Run remains a cherished title for fans of the series and retro gaming enthusiasts. It's a game that captures the essence of The Simpsons universe and provides a whimsical experience that resonates emotionally with players. Compared to today's expensive, hyper-realistic open-world games, it feels simpler, but it also possesses a warm and nostalgic charm that modern games rarely evoke. For those who experienced the game in its prime, it's a reminder of the golden age of the early 2000s gaming. If you do want to see more of the game, please follow my channel, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.